Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and welcome back to my channel, Your Friendly Budgetarian. If you're new here in my YouTube channel, I am currently on my financial journey of trying to pay off six figure worth of student loans. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified once I am <laughs> debt free. I know, I know, it's almost the end of the year and yet why it is just now that I am making this financial goals for the year 2021. You want to know why? It's because I want to be held accountable for all the decisions that I am making and so I want to show it to you guys so you can see my progression and whatnot. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are my nine financial goals for the end of the year 2021. Number one, have an approximate uh, total of expenses of about $17,000 to $19,000. That one I still have not calculated um, just because I had a kind of a mistake with regards to calculating my expenses because I was including um, my fiance's uh, payment, mortgage payment, wherein that's his bills and not mine. So that I still have yet to deduct from the bills and expenses because for the past, well, from the start of this year up until um, last month, I was including it, but now I'm not. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm thinking I should be within that number, I think. <laughs> number two. So have a projected income of about $90,000 or more. So I know last year it was around that area. And that $90,000, that's after taxes, you know, after all the deductions and whatnot. So I think right now, I believe I'm at $70,000. So I think I'm um, the projected income is well, might, might, be, might surpass that. I'm not sure. There's like four months left. But we'll see. I'm really hoping it will. Um, I mean, I don't know if that will actually affect my contributions for my Roth IRA. Maybe there's something that I have to do to, you know, deduct like my gross income and whatnot. But we will see. But I think I am projected to have that um, income by the end of the year. Number three, save $1,200 for my high yield savings account. So fortunately, I actually have surpassed that. So I've been just um, keeping uh, tabs on um, making sure that I put some amount of money in there every month. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my net worth video a um, couple weeks ago. Um, I keep on putting money there every month. It's basically about uh, $50 every paycheck, so about $100 per month. And uh, there were times that I definitely put in more than $100, so I am actually done with that. I just so I'm just going to I'm still going to be uh putting um dollars into that account every month. Number 4, fully fund my Roth IRA. So as you guys have known, um, this is my first time creating a Roth IRA account and I'm so happy that I am at actually at goal and might be able to fully fund my account by October or November. Right now it's sitting at uh, $4,750 so I only have about $1,250 is my math right? I'm not sure. I'll put in the correct number in the screen if I did the math cor incorrectly. But yes, I'm currently sitting at $4,750 and I'm so, so excited to be able to fully fund that account. Number five. So my goal is to be able to pay off about $60,000 worth of student loans. And good news is... I'm actually already um, sitting at $53,000 for this year. And I'm so, so, so happy 
um, because I think I will even be able to surpass that. And um, I, I mean, I know it's dead, but I don't mind surpassing that amount because I really do want to be able to say I'm debt free before my birthday next year. And as I'm counting down the months, the more, I mean, if I'm not able to put in more, um, the more I have to contribute for next year. So I just kind of want to, you know, slow it down a little bit and uh, paying off my debt and then hopefully increasing more on investing and all that stuff. So I'm really, really excited, but I'm so happy. I'm almost there. Um, we're just all about to finish the third quarter of the year. So I'm really, really hoping that I'm able to surpass that. Number six save about $2,400 in my bridge account. So I don't know if you guys have known, but I did um, create an account, uh, just a brokerage account. Um, one is for my Roth IRA, and then one is for a bridge account, which is a um, taxable brokerage account, basically. I, create a bridge, I created a bridge account, a um, couple of reasons. I mean, I don't know yet if, I see myself, you know, working um, at 59 and a half years old. So I was thinking maybe I could, in 10 years, who knows, might create a business or something like that. Um, I don't know yet. I don't know if I can call myself like an entrepreneur, but we'll see who knows how, if um, I'm able to develop my skills and be become a businesswoman, <laughs> who knows, but, yeah, I'm, I do have a bridge account and I'm trying to um, fund it at $2,400. But good news is I already reached that goal. So I'm, again, I'm just um, keeping tabs, putting money aside every month. And I believe that I've been putting about $200 every month in there. So it just keeps on growing. I mean, again, the market is up, down but most important thing is your time in the market don't need to time the market okay you guys um just make sure you keep putting money invest it save it but don't spend it unless you need to <laughs> number seven so my next goal is or i mean my goal seven is to be able to spare about $200 per paycheck for my 401k or um, since I work at the government, it's what we call it TSP, Thrift Savings Plan. And right now I'm actually, I actually haven't like skipped it or anything, which I'm, since I started it, I think it was, I would say late January or early February when I told myself I need to start putting down some money um, to my retirement account at work. Um, just because, again, as I mentioned before, last year during 2020, um, I was only paying off my debts. I actually had my 401k account like at 0% uh, because like I want all the money, you know, to, <laughs> so that I can um, um, pay off my loans. And that really what like uh, sped up the process of me uh, getting it down to less than six digits. So now this year, I told myself um, I really want to start investing for my future, for my retirement. So I told myself uh, maybe $200 every paycheck. Um, but recently, I think just this month, I changed it to 5%, which is about uh, $243. Um, so it's kind of close, just maybe a couple of, you know, the, those $43 off that I was not able to to maximize the five percent contribution that we have at work by now it's at five percent so i'm really excited um i don't know yet um i i mean i don't think i'm gonna be able to maximize that uh max contribution which is nineteen thousand five hundred dollars right now i am actually uh sitting at around twenty nine hundred dollars for my contribution for this year uh that's not including the match uh but yeah it's it's very small but i'm hoping um probably by 2023 i will be able to fully fund it i don't think i'm gonna be able to fully fund it in next year because again half 
half of that year I will be paying off my loans so yeah we'll see how it goes I mean I'm just I'm just really excited to be able to contribute now to my um, 401k compared to last year like I was putting in zero money <laughs> number eight so this one I'm really super excited about it because uh, am, I think I am projecting into a zero net worth by the end of the year it's so exciting isn't it um so yeah i am just so i've been continually um calculating my net worth every month i do it every month as you guys saw in my previous video um it was at i think it was at negative twenty one thousand dollars last month and then I think for this month, um, I'm going to be uploading a video of that soon uh, by the end of August. And you will see how much it is, but it's getting closer, you guys. Um, and it, it keeps on going down. So that's a good thing. As long as there's a trend of that, you know, upward rise towards the zero or the positive net worth, then yeah, I, I'm so excited. So happy to finally be out of that negative sign. <laughs> and so last, number nine, my goal for the end of this year. This one I actually just recently added just because, um, as you guys know, I'm trying to grow my channel. And yeah, I'm hoping by the end of the year, I would have maybe 100 to 200 subscribers. I don't know. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really grateful for you guys supporting me. Uh, watching my videos and then commenting on it so yeah I mean right now uh, to be honest I'm just here to share my journey my financial journey and um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are learning something but if you are I'm really <laughs> thankful and grateful for that because really my plan um, even during the times that I wasn't uploading the video like I was trying to educate like some of my friends share with them what I have been learning uh, at least for this year and maybe for the past year about finances so I'm just glad that I'm able to reach out little by little to you guys out there <laughs> even though you're you are not like personally like we don't personally know each other at least like through this um, media I'm able to share any uh, knowledge with you guys so that I'm just really grateful um but yeah we'll see once i reach that 100 or 200 actually for real though i am gonna be giving um a giveaway if i do reach that because i do want to thank you guys for supporting my channel so yeah if anything um please uh spread my channel around so that you guys you know once once your friends are able to know of my channel then you have a chance to have that giveaway and so yeah give me some um give me some suggestions or um anything on what you guys want to see from my channel um what you guys want to receive for that giveaway um like maybe a gift card or something or something about finance but yeah i'm just really i'm just really excited in general about um about life <laughs> um not only with just my channel but about life honestly i feel like i've had um personal growth for the past months um not only with my profession not only with um uh, building relationships with friends or with co-workers but most especially like just personal growth and honestly, when I was listing down like my New Year's resolution uh, by the end of um, like December of last year, when I look at the list now, I think I've mostly accomplished like most of them. Um, obviously, not all of them, but most of them. And I'm really happy about that. Uh, it, it it means more when um, you've accomplished something more personal rather than like you know financial um because you have we only live a short life so why not make the most of it right <laughs> but yeah um that's about it for my um 
for my financial goals for the year 2021. I hope you guys uh, follow along with me as I, um, you know, do my create my journey towards financial freedom. And I hope you guys learn some stuff from me. Um, and I hope I learn some stuff from you too. So if you have um, any comments at all, please comment them down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.